Hello everyone, this is Dinesh Singh Rautila, TGT Physics. Today, I am here to discuss about first chapter of physics class 9th, motion. Motion is very important chapter. So let's start to discuss about motion. What is motion and what is rest? Dear students, Motion means movement. If any object changes its position or place with respect to time, then the object is in motion. To understand the definition of motion, we take some examples of moving car. Moving car is always in motion, flying words, and athletes, or earth, or when we go to school, we use motion. To understand this example very easily, suppose a car initially at A position and after 15 minutes position of car is at B. To understand example of motion, suppose at 7 am car starts from A after 15 minutes at 7 15 am car is at b we are observing that position of car is changing initially car is at position a and after 15 minutes at b whenever any object changes its position here car is changing its position so car is in motion flying words also changes its position so word is also is in motion whenever any athlete run in a circular track athlete also changes its position Suppose initially athlete is at position A after some times at position B. So athlete is in motion. Our earth rotates continuously. So our earth is also in motion. When we go to school initially we start from our home. After some times we reach at a school. So when we go to school then we are also in motion. Now next topic is rest. What is rest? To understand this according to definition of rest if any object does not change its position with respect to time then it is said to be in rest. Example of rest a chair, car, houses may be in rest if all these things do not change its position with respect to time to understand about rest suppose any car at 9 30 am is at position a after half an hour at 10 am car remains its same position at a so here car is not changing its position so car is in rest if chair car again not changes its position so these things are also in rest our house always remains in rest now we will discuss about type of motion first is uniform motion second is non-uniform motion uniform motion means equal in amount or equally non-uniform motion means not equal in amount or unequal to understand first uniform motion if any object covers equal distance in equal interval of time then the object is in uniform motion dear student to understand uniform motion we take example of moving car suppose a car starts from a to b b to c c to d and d to e starts from a and reaches at b distance between a to b is 2 km b to c again 2 km c to d 2 km and time taken by car is 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute. According to definition, if any object covers equal distance, here object is covering equal distance, 2 km, 2 km, 2 km, equal distance in equal interval of time. Again, time taken is 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute. So here the car is in uniform motion. To understand about non-uniform motion, if any object covers 
equal distance in unequal interval time. Then object is in non-uniform motion. Suppose again, <coughs> we take a moving car. Car starts from A. And distance between A to B is 2 km, B to C is 2 km to ground. Here is distance is equal in amount. If car covers equal distance in unequal interval time, first time taken by car is 10 minute, after that 15 minute, 8 minute, 12 minute. Yet difference in time. If an object covers equal distance in unequal interval, yet interval of time is different, so car is in non uniform motion. Dear students, now to discuss about next topic distance and displacement. What is distance and what is displacement? According to definition of distance, actual length of a path is known as distance or actual length of path traveled by any object. Actual length of the path traveled by any object is known as distance. Suppose any object starts from A to B and go B to C, C to D. Here distance between A to B is 10 after that 5 and 7. The total distance is 22 meter. And suppose any object travels from A to B, B to C, C to D and D to H. So the total distance covered by the object is 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter, 40. In case of displacement, there is a slight difference according to the direction. We can understand definition of displacement. Shortest distance between initial and final position of any object is known as displacement. To understand displacement, very easily we take few examples. Suppose any object travels from A to B and B to C, C to D. Here initial position of the object is at A and final is D. Suppose object traveling in a rectangular path. So here initially is at A and finally at D. Distance between shortest distance between initial and final position. So here distance between D to A is 8 meter. So displacement is 8 meter. Again according to definition of displacement we are observing that distance between shortest distance between initial and final position. Suppose in a rectangular path any object travels from A to B and after that B to C. Now what is the displacement? Displacement is shortest distance. This is displacement. To observing the distance between A to B is 12 and B to C is 5 meter. To calculate distance between AC we use Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equal to this and this. After this we can calculate it is very easily. So displacement is 13 meter. Dear students difference what is the difference between distance and displacement distance means distance actual length of the path displacement is shortest distance between initial and final position first difference in distance and displacement is distance cannot be zero and displacement can be zero how displacement can be zero to understand this we take example suppose any objects travel in a square path a to b B to C, C to D and D to A. Here distance is actual length. Actual length is 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter. A, B, B, C, C, D, this total length is 40 meter. So total distance is 40 meter. Now about displacement. According to definition of displacement, shortest distance between initial and final position. Initially object is at A and finally again is at A. So there is no distance show displacement is zero. Second most important difference is in distance and displacement is distance cannot be negative but displacement can be negative. How displacement can be negative? According to definition of displacement we are observing that displacement depends on the direction. Suppose any object travels according to the direction. We know that direction are east, west, north, south. To understand this, suppose any car starts from A to B. 
डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए टू बी इज टेन मीटर सो हियर डिस्टेंस इज टेन मीटर एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज ऑल्सो टेन मीटर अगेन इफ कार मूव्स अपोजिट डायरेक्शन बी टू ही सो अगेन हियर नाउ डिस्टेंस इज टेन प्लस टेन ट्वेंटी मीटर बट डिस्प्लेसमेंट फाइनल पोजिशन एंड इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज एट ए सो डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज जीरो हियर डिस्प्लेसमेंट चेंजेस अकॉर्डिंग टू डायरेक्शन इनिशियली डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज टेन आफ्टर इफ कार रिवर्स इट्स डायरेक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज टेन प्लस माइनस टेन अकॉर्डिंग टू डायरेक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज जीरो इफ नाउ कार ट्रेवल्स ए टू सी अगेन इज इन रिवर्स डायरेक्शन एंड डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ए टू सी इज फाइव मीटर सो इन दिस केस डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन दिस केस डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज माइनस फाइव मीटर डायरेक्शन असाइन फॉर कन्वीनियंस इन केस ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दीज आर इनिशियल टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर मोशन आई होप यू ऑल हैव अंडरस्टैंड दीज टॉपिक्स फॉर एन इंक्वायरी यू कैन कंटेक्ट मी एंड आफ्टर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्पीड वेलोसिटी यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड नॉन यूनिफॉर्म स्पीड एक्सेलरेशन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन नॉन यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन थैंक यू